challenge that we're trying to solve was really a compilation of several challenges, but specifically with the asteroid image sharing. Um, paired with that, we also found that we had the opportunity to build a solution for the NASA Grand Challenge dealing with near-Earth objects. So we really combined the two of those to create what we called NERO, or the NERO Project, which stands for Near Earth Recognition Objective. We're actually building a platform so amateur photographers and families and really anybody with a digital SLR um, can go out and take viable pictures and then those pictures will be used uh, in order to add to the collection of photos that track and also might identify new near earth objects. We believe we found a way to commoditize and expand the way that we find near earth objects. And we're doing that through a couple ways. One is a open source platform and system for anybody with a DSLR camera to be able to take photography of space at a scientific level that can be used in research or categorizing of near-earth objects. So you can imagine a, a dad that has a DSLR camera that takes pictures of his family can go to our website in the Nero Project, download a kit, and be able to very quickly understand how to take scientific level photography with a DSLR camera. So that's one piece. We're enabling over 20 million users of DSLR cameras to be able to be part of a larger space community, a large science community for what we call citizen scientists. What's ideal about the situation is we're starting out with a platform enabling anyone to submit data to our feature set, which is very valuable. That is the number one struggle that computer vision scientists face is the lack of data of images that are relevant and of good quality. Uh, I am excited that we have the platform that gathers this data and enables anyone to submit data, and uh, I'm excited to see where this goes with collaboration uh, with other scientists to see where uh, we can take this.